Today on Clearing the Clutter Inside and Out, we are talking about holiday cards. Do you struggle to get your cards sent out each year? Has sending out cards lost its joy and become clutter? Do you like the idea of cards but would like to do something different? Let's continue our month focusing on the holidays. Are you overwhelmed by clutter? Looking to organize your life? Do you feel stuck and are ready for a change? Every Tuesday at 1 p.m., join award-winning professional organizer and coach Julie Caraccio on clearing the clutter inside and out as she supports you in navigating the waters of decluttering your life and getting organized. Julie thinks outside the box and examines clutter in all areas, physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, energetic, and more. Ready to live a more joyful and fulfilling life? For a long time, I didn't send out Christmas cards, but once I got married, I chose to. Sending out holiday cards can be fun and great for your personal or professional life. It's easier if you're organized, but you don't have to send out cards in order to spread some cheer. According to Hallmark, in 2015, 1.5 billion cards were sent last Christmas holiday season. I suspect it's higher than that, though. My mother is an artist and designs her own cards every year, so her cards, as well as others, would not be clued in the statistics. Around 500 million e-cards are sent each year. The Greeting Card Association shared that 9 out of 10 Americans say they look forward to receiving personal letters and greeting cards because cards allow them to keep in touch with friends and family and make them feel they are important to someone else. Getting organized. If you're going to send out holiday cards, now is the time to start planning. Breaking it down into manageable tasks ensure that you will be able to get your cards out and not add to holiday stress. The first thing I suggest is to create your card list. I recommend doing it on the computer or in an app or in an Excel spreadsheet like I do. It's easy to update every year. If someone sends you a change of address in summer, you can quickly update your card list. Make life easy and make it a rule that this document will always have the most up-to-date addresses. Establish a deadline for when you want to get your cards out. I like to send right after Thanksgiving. The holidays are crazy enough as it is, so I personally like my December cleared as much as possible. By getting them out early, there is a good chance people will actually receive them before the holiday passes. I've sometimes had the mail lose cards. Write down all the steps you need to do. You can keep it in an app, on your computer, or in a paper notebook. You could also use a calendar and fill out a step for every few days. Begin with your list. When making your list, or if you already have one, think about trimming. I always send older people cards that they are more likely to appreciate, but as a statistic I mentioned earlier indicated, most people really enjoy receiving a card. I also know friends that really enjoy receiving cards, so I make sure they're on my list. Long-standing friends receive cards as well, but I do call every year. People that I'm not really in touch with, or not spending time with, or are no longer on the list. Spend the time now going through and trimming your list. From that list, determine the number of cards you'll need. If you're going for a simple card, you can purchase boxes now or order online. If you are doing a do-it-yourself photo card, or have photos you would like to include with your card, choose the photos and get prints. Get a pre-printed card if you don't want to sign. Doing a newsletter? Start a draft and get the whole family involved. They might have news you didn't know they wanted to share. The more the merrier and the less work for one person. If you have more than a standard card, adding photos or a newsletter, take one to the post office and make sure that a letter stamp will work. If not, make sure you get the correct postage. Get all the postage you'll need to send out all your cards. If you don't need to weigh a car, you can order stamps online or get at Costco. If you haven't already, update your address book or label list. Once it's updated, print labels for the card recipients. Next, print or gather return address labels. Don't throw out all those return labels you received during the year. They'll come in especially handy for the holidays. 
You also have the option of buying envelopes with pre-printed return address, or you can get an address stamp. When we are in our forever forever home, I plan on doing this. Surrounded by clutter, tired of the stress it creates, ready to find peace of mind and reduce your anxiety, our comprehensive How to Declutter Your Life course guides you step by step in how to clear clutter and simplify your life. Each section is three months, physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual, and features manageable to-dos. A bonus month on clearing energetic clutter is also included. Choose either workbook or video course. How to Declutter Your Life is designed to build a strong foundation for releasing clutter and continued personal growth. Learn more at reawakenyourbrilliance.com. Finish the draft of your newsletter. Print when completed. Gather your cards, photos, newsletter, or anything else you'll be sending. Again, get the family involved. You can work as a family during TV breaks. Do 20 to 30 at a time so as not to overwhelm anyone. Here's an order I'm going to suggest. Put the return address labels on all the envelopes. Next stamp. Then address the envelopes or label. Write a personal note and sign. If you have a newsletter, fold that up and do that next. Seal all the envelopes. Each day work on a set. I always carry with me in my work bag, so if I'm waiting in the doctor's office, I have something to do. When you're finished, take to the post office or put in your mailbox. Ways to save money. We belong to Costco, and if you order photo cards early, you save money. You can always stock up at post-holiday sales for next year on box cards. When ordering cards, skip the extras like colored envelopes as they increase the price. Shop around. There are quite a few options for printed photo cards. Make your own. You can really get creative these days. Hallmark has software to make your own cards. Don't stress. If you can't get your cards out early, get them out late. New Year's Eve is okay. It doesn't all have to be done by the 25th. How about Christmas in July? Don't kill yourself to meet a deadline. Even if all you do is create your card list, you'll be ahead of the game for next year. Alternatives. If you don't want to send cards, create a video. YouTube is free and you can privately record a video. If you want to get fancy, you can use iMovie on Mac and edit in transitions, words, etc. Send out an email newsletter with photos. Online is free. It saves time, money, and trees. Some options are Blue Mountain and eCards. 123greetings.com can send up to 100 people. TreeGreetings.com plants a tree when you send the card. Don't forget to recycle the cards you receive. If you aren't saving the cards, and I really encourage you to be judicious about the cards you save. You can repurpose the fronts usually as gift tags for next year. One less thing to worry about and purchase. Takeaways from today's podcast. Start now. Establish a deadline when you want cards sent out. Work back from there and chunk down into manageable steps. Think outside the box. Send New Year's Eve cards, Christmas in July, Happy New Year, if you can't get everything done by the 25th, don't stress. Sending online cards or emailing newsletters can save you money, time, and trees. Consider simplifying your holidays. I've had so much fun podcasting since 2014 and host my podcast with Libsyn. Starting your own podcast, you can get your current month and the next month free on Libsyn with the coupon clutter. I love that Libsyn has great customer service and I never have to worry that they're going to go out of business and leave me in the lurch. For more information, go to reawakenyourbrilliance.com. Go out, clear the clutter to create the life you choose, deserve, and desire. Ready to clear clutter and share your gifts with the world? The journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. So what step will you take today? Sign up for our newsletter and receive a free copy of our 10 Steps to Clearing Clutter. Julie Caraccio provides coaching, professional organizing and speaking, organizing classes, 
Positive Affirmations, and her unique How to Declutter Your Life course. Learn more at reawakenyourbrilliance.com. Subscribe to Clearing the Clutter Inside and Out and join us next Tuesday at 1 p.m.